A few years ago, we did some magnetic experiments with credit cards. We found that a card's magnetic stripe could be scrambled or erased if we brought a strong neodymium magnet close enough to it. We experimented with a few different magnet to card distances and used a card reader to determine when it failed. That work seems relevant today when we're taking a closer look at magnetic money clips. How do these clips work? Can they work well? And will they erase my credit cards? We purchased a few examples to experiment with. This combination money clip and card holder is a nice one. It holds a stack of bills nicely between the magnetic flap and the wallet. To see whether it could affect a credit card, we tested it with low coercivity cards. These are the weaker cards often used for hotel room keys or subway passes, which are much easier to erase than regular credit cards. With a big stack of bills between the magnets, the card adjacent to the magnets seemed okay. When we removed the cash and manipulated the magnetic flap, the first card was scrambled. No. Uh, no now you're broke and homeless. <laughs> Cards farther away were okay, but some were definitely in the danger zone. Well, it's definitely that there's a certain distance mm -hmm. where you're okay. For a second test, we inserted a credit card sized piece of steel in the first card slot. This made the magnetic clip feel a little stronger. More importantly, it drastically reduced the magnetic field behind the steel. We found that none of the cards were erased with the steel present. We also tested a simple money clip with no integrated wallet or card holder. It was super strong, but will it affect credit cards in the same pocket? Here, your credit cards. It sure did. Be careful with this one. Fine for cash. No good for cards. Not good for cards. Okay, it's teardown time. What's inside this strong money clip? Peeking inside using magnetic viewing film, it looks like there's a disc magnet inside with perhaps some other ferromagnetic stuff. Maybe the disc magnet is stuck to a steel plate? Tearing it apart, we find, yep, there's a thin disc magnet held in place on a thin steel backer. Not a very thick piece of steel. Yeah. I think it's just enough to hold the magnet in place while you're sewing it and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't bother to treat the steel. It's all no. rusty. Moving on to the combination card holder and money clip, the magnetic viewing film clearly shows two rectangular magnets inside. Tearing it open, we find that block magnet inside. The structure of the clip has some filler to hold the magnet centered. Oh, but look at that. The leather is thinnest right above the magnet, getting the magnet as close as possible to the money and to the other magnet. Smart. We thinned it out where it touches. That's smart. 
so that it's thinnest here yep. and thicker there. We started investigating this topic because we get so many questions from leather workers looking to make their own money clips. We're not very good with sewing leather, but maybe this simple example with a piece of blue cardstock can help show the basic idea. We used two one inch by half inch by one sixteenth inch thick block magnets set inside this length of cardstock. The magnets are in pockets where the stock is folded over it to hold it in place. This provided a nice level of clamping force on a stack of bills. For a stronger hold, we added two thin pieces of steel sheet metal, each larger than the magnets themselves. This made a much stronger hold. We wonder if a setup like this is the key to a strong hold with thinner magnets yeah, and cool. reducing stray magnetic fields from reaching nearby yeah. credit cards. Noticeably stronger. Yeah. Now the paper's thin. Not right, right. But good luck making your own magnetic money clip. Really strong.